Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So today is my favorite breakfast. Toast with marmalade, vanilla yogurt, two eggs over medium, bacon, and coffee. This is my favorite, favorite breakfast. So Ian's going to be here in a half hour. LaFonda, she's stayed over bros because bro took Leah and his girlfriend's little boy, or not little boy, but son, to those K-Days or whatever they call it, that like rides and whatever. So, LaFonda went and last night to go get her but she was tired so she just spent the night there and they should be signing a lease here soon because the place is supposed to be available on the 28th Friday <clears throat> but that's when they're gonna pay the rent at payday so I was going to do it on Friday. The pond is off on Friday. So. And then they got to get. Someone asked in a comment. Are they staying with me? They have been for a month. They're getting a new place. Anyhow, yeah, they still got to get the U-Haul and everything. Never mind the UFP, UFC fights or whatever. Pay the rent and get, get your stuff in there. And then I got a major clean, cleanest place. Everything is everywhere. It's so cluttered. Cluttered and dirty. I just don't feel like cleaning when everything is everywhere. When the place is empty and I can see the floor. I don't know. Anyhow, then when they called me, could we see me and this other girl? She works mornings, Monday to Friday, and I work, they call PM shift. Monday to Friday night. Now, they had Mr. Mayor, now that he quit, he gave two weeks. He's going to a liquor store or something, I don't know, for the weekend. He was doing base, then he quit doing that. And then he was doing cash. Saturday and Sunday morning. And the other girl, she did weekend night, Saturday and Sunday. Well, he quit. That's why I've been working the Saturdays. Because he gave two weeks, so he was working Sunday. But this week coming is this last week. Now, they call me up. My supervisor asked me. It's on a Saturday. I was at Walmart. <clears throat> asked me if I could work Saturday and Sunday until we find someone for the weekend morning in which is hard shift to find. Nobody wants to work minimum wage. I mean they can go McDonald's and get more than what I'm making. Anyway. 
And I said, I work Saturday and Sunday and have Thursday, Friday off. I said, no. They're not catering. They're not asking the post on day staff because she won't budge. And they know it. She's on vacation. So I suggest it. I'm pretty sure the other supervisor last week said she was going to come in or something and to work. And she never does. I said, before she intimidates me, I suggested, so we find someone, because there's no school right now. We've got a month. Her excuse, she didn't want to. The daytime stuff. She can't work Saturday. She can't work the weekend because school. There's no school right now. She got her husband there, her niece there, to take care of her kid. Anyway, so. I suggest I have. Friday and Saturday off and work Sunday night. She worked because she likes morning, Saturday morning. And she can have Sunday and Monday off. And the part time girl that works two days, she will get four days. Before she came and trying to intimidate me to take I emailed her. Said she'd wait until Tuesday because she came back on vacation. So they went and talked to her yesterday, and there's no way. Anyway, they kept me alone. They, but they still got her down. They got her down for this Sunday. They got nobody to cover Saturday, and I'm not doing it. Um, I did do. I did my share. I open two Saturdays. Work six day, one day off, six day, one day off, and five day. I want this weekend off. Anyway. But you just wait because the weekend after they got her down working Saturday. And she said she's not doing Saturday. She'll see when she gets in today. She'll be crying. I was willing I probably didn't Saturday off and work that Sunday night the girl would have to open and next weekend they get her down as a double shift on Sunday they don't know what to do But I try to help. So they can't, they can't ask me. I try. They know my suggestion. And you want to cater to her? Because she literally cries. And school's no excuse. I got four weeks before school. Anyhow. And I'm not training them either. I was a She'll have to do it because they're doing a morning, uh, morning shift. I'm done. I tried to train that girl. She walks out on me. And then uh, Mr. Mayor. I 
Mr. Mayor's going to get a surprise. You think, liquor store, he got a lot of lifting and everything and put boxes. How is he going to do that? How is he going to do that? He thinks he just sits there and... I don't think it's sit. I don't even think they have a stool. He has to stand. Where his back is? How is he going to do that? Complained all all time about his back. Anyway. Hopefully, cash registers. He still didn't get it all the time. He was there. He was still making mistakes. And Hopefully it's a simpler cash register. Just scan. Yeah. I really I could make a lot more money and go, go somewhere else, but it might get worse. Might have to stand up all day. At least we got a stool. Have a manager on your back all the time. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, they're not fair. They're not fair to their employees. All their employees. They're not fair. To their good employees. The ones that they gotta fight with to show up and everything. They favor them. Because they know they got the other one under their belt. They don't have to worry about them. So the, they should be worried about them because they lose them. They lose good employees. We should be, everyone should be treated the same. And the ones that act up, don't favor them. Be, be strong with them. We wouldn't be in this pickle right now because the girl that worked there before, okay, she quit twice on them. Now, I had her time, but she was working five days a week. I was working four, and she worked for them for a long time. She uh, was always sick on Sunday. Well, she keeps on coming in. We're in a pickle. Just say, look, if you really want to work, here again. It's only two days. You got to show up on Sunday. And if you quit, give us two weeks' notice. Then we'd be out of the pickle. Just tell her one chance and one Sunday you can't show up. Like her excuse. She had COVID three times. Hmm. I think she liked to drink on the weekend. But anyway. But she was working five days a week then. See. It's only. She's not working out. Gets us out of the pickle for a little bit. Give her probation. Give her probation time.
Say, if you can't sew on a Sunday for good reason, you're not in hospital or something. See, they used to keep cater to her. She didn't. She wouldn't do any extra days. She wasn't reliable. She wouldn't take. Just like the one that they're favoring right now in the daytime. She don't do extra days. Anyhow, all I know is they favor the wrong people. They favor the wrong people. That's why they can't keep stuff. They can't keep stuff. The good workers they don't recognize. They're too busy babysitting the bad workers. Get rid of them and get more good workers. And treat your staff better. I can't believe that she called me and asked me to give up my Saturday and Sunday. Not one day, but both. And didn't ask the, the other one. I've been there five years. She's only been there for seven. She's telling them that... The, what? She's been there eight, nine years? No. No, she hasn't. No. Anyhow. And why should I give up? Anyway, that's okay. I'm glad I suggested because they're playing with them two now. She's not playing with me. They're leaving mine. They leave me alone. I'm working Monday to Friday. I don't have to work. Hey, I did my part. Well, she was on vacation. And she's not getting an extra day either because she's off Monday. So they're not even giving her an extra day. She's taking this. If I was her, I would have taken a Sunday and Monday off. Then she could go to church with the do her daughter. The day would be back to back. She could have said, I'll do it for four weeks. The end of August, I gotta go back to my, when, when my daughter's at school. She's not a team player at all. She's not a team player. But I suggest that they'll leave me alone now. It's all on, falls back on her. She was going to come out to supervise her last night if I wouldn't have sent her that email. Telling her what I could do. I can't do both days. I can't do Saturday. I said I babysit. I can work Sunday night. Not morning. I'm not a morning. I'm at my... I'm a night employee, so... Anyway. So, you gonna be home here soon. I gotta go have a cigarette. Upload this and I think... It's going to rain today, so I ordered the bus. I'm going to catch the bus. And I think, what's today, Wednesday? No, Ian's not off tonight, but LaFonda will be home. I'm going to drive home with her. So you guys all have a good day, and it's a great time.